The summer travel season is kicking into high gear and Americans, of course, are getting ready for those 4th of July festivities. And experts say it's not too late to find good deals on flights, but what days you travel are really key here to finding the best prices. ABC's Melissa Adan has you covered. With 4th of July falling on a Tuesday this year, many travelers are stretching the holiday into an extra long weekend. If you're looking to get away but haven't booked your flights yet, Haley Berg from the travel website Hopper says there's still time to find a good deal. Your best bet is look at departing on Saturday of the long weekend and coming back Monday or Tuesday on the 4th itself. Travelers can expect to see airfares down about 25% from 2022 and the cost of a hotel room is in line with last year's rates. Rental car price is down about 25% as well, so a lot of relief for travelers who are getting out there this year. The busiest travel days ahead of the holiday are expected to be Thursday and Friday. About 3.7 million passengers expected to be departing from U.S. airports both days. And Wednesday will be the busiest day to return. We typically do see that the 4th of July itself is not usually the most popular day to travel. According to Hopper, Las Vegas, Orlando and New Orleans are among some of the most popular domestic destinations this year. While Cancun and Toronto are the top choices for those looking to travel internationally. If you haven't booked yet, definitely consider staying domestic or consider destinations in Canada or Mexico and Central America. You're going to pay about a quarter of what you would pay to go on a trip to Europe or Asia. And as always, experts advise, pack your patience, get to the airport early and be prepared for long lines at security. Melissa Adon, ABC News, Los Angeles.